Looking at elevator doors, they can be called either single speed or dual speed. That actually has nothing to do with the speed. That has to do with how many sections of door. So looking at this one, there's four sections. It's gonna open in the middle and come across. Uh, there might be a single door that's called single speed. There might be a couple sections coming from one side or the other, or you can see it here closing in a minute. Not much of a difference to us as long as there's open up that oyster door looking at a back end of the car door. We have here what's called a, uh, a shoe clutch or just a door clutch. The function of this is to ride up and down the elevator. We'll see some rollers today. That's what we're aiming for when we're pulling. The rollers on each of the hoistway doors. The purpose of this is to roll up. The rollers are going to catch right in the middle of these two, either plastic or metal pieces. And that lets the elevator know, hey, it's in the right spot for the door to open. The crank or the uh, motor on top of the elevator is going to open the hoistway door with the car door. Like you rarely ever see when you're getting on an elevator in normal operation, you rarely ever see the inside of the car door as you're standing in the hallway because that, uh, the car door is catching the hoistway door over a moat together, right? And then when the elevator size is done, it's going to move, it tries to close both of them together.